idiopathic uh, epiretinal membranes uh, are contactable fibrovascular membranes uh, that occur on the surface of the retina, uh, causing tangential forces leading to a deformation of the retinal architecture and significant, uh, significant visual impairment. IRM uh, consists of different cell types, uh, including glial cells, uh, hyalocytes, retinal pigment epithelium cells, fibroblasts, and uh, neofibroblasts, uh, and uh, extracellular matrix co uh, components. Uh, the importance in IRM development is, um, uh, as the different studies showing, is that uh, retinal Miller and other cells uh, uh, in the per presence of certain pro fibrotic cytokines um, can uh, transmutate in, uh, into a myofibroblast-like uh, um, <coughs> phenotype and start to produce a smooth muscle actin, alpha SM actin, uh, and induce tissue contraction. Uh, the uh, distortion of the retinal surface due to ARM contraction, which in some cases can involve the entire retinal thickness, uh, is the primary cause of metamorphopsia. Uh, which is usually the leading and most uh, disturbing symptom of the disease. Uh, surgical removal of RM LM is usually performed using a 25-27 gauge uh, vitrectomy. Uh, during surgery, um, both the RM and the ELM uh, must be removed from the retinal surface in order to relieve the traction on the macula. Uh, surgery for RM improves uh, or stabilizes visual acuity. Uh, decrease metamorphopsy and restore macular anatomy. Nevertheless, patients with low preoperative visual acuity do not enjoy uh, completely recovery after membrane removal. Uh, limited restoration of the visual acuity in, in these patients can be due to chronic retinal tractions, uh, leakage, uh, uh, vascular leakage, and uh, persistent cystoid macular edema. All these facts uh, restrict the um, restoration of macular anatomy and function. The purpose is to investigate the functional, structural, and morphological outcomes of ARM surgical treatment in different uh, proliferation uh, phase. All patients uh, were uh, six, 60 eyes of 60 patients uh, who underwent 25 gauge arsplana vitrectomy were evaluated in this study in one, three, um, six, 12, and 24 months uh, after surgery. Um, and all patients were divided into, uh, into three groups, uh, depending on visual acuity. Uh, and the present study evaluates uh, flat-mounted ERM surgical specimens uh, for evidence of presence uh, of different type cells transdifferentiations. Retinal Miller cells, astrocytes, hyalocytes, expressing glial acid fibrillary protein, GFAP, uh, is a marker of uh, cell activation. Uh, Vimentin uh, CD45 self uh, expiring alpha SM actin that is neofibroblast marker uh, and type 2.6 collagen. We want to demonstrate a RAM and uh, ELM removal features in different groups of patients. Uh, all the membrane in first group were removed separately from the ELM. After dual blue staining, first uh, create an ERM flap with 25 gauge uh, forceps. Uh, and peel off uh, the RM uh, as a large whole piece um, uh, passing through the fovea. After that, we performed um, macularaxis uh, LM peeling. In the second group, uh, all membranes were removed uh, as a single block uh, with LM. And uh, you can see it clearly because of uh, diaphedesis uh, um, on the retinal surface. It's quite impossible to remove uh, this type of membranes uh, separately uh, from ILM uh, because of a really strong adhesion, even in this group of patients. In third group, uh, we um, revealed strong membrane adhesions uh, to ILM, sometimes in the fovea, and they were removed in a unique uh, single block also. Uh, trying to minimize tractional forces uh, on the macula and sometimes uh, performed uh, vitrectomy around uh, remodeling tissues. Uh, and uh, also we perform a double staining um, uh, to make sure of complete ILM uh, removal.
Also, reportedly uh, removed uh, RAM uh, of first group specimens uh, were found to have positive immunostaining for glial fibrillary exit protein, GFAP. Uh, also, CD45, remantine, and cellular uh, retinal uh, uh, binding protein, indicating the presence of glial cells and helicytes in the membranes. We also observed an alpha SM positive cells in uh, 12 uh, uh, samples. They were transdifferentiated from retinal Müller cells and astrocytes into a myofibril blast-like phenotype. Uh, they start to produce a smooth muscle actin and induce tissue contraction. And uh, in this case, uh, symptomatic patients start uh, to complain of uh, decreased visual acuity and metamorphopsia. In second group, we revealed pro <coughs> progressive uh, increasing myofibroblast-like cells that is responsible for the upregulation of type 2, 4, and 6 uh, uh, collagens, uh, also CD45 positive uh, helicytes and reduction uh, GFAP positive cells. We concluded uh, that the alpha SAM actin expressing transdifferentiated uh, retinal Miller and other cells, which represents myofibroblast-like cells, are responsible for the membrane contraction. In the same time, we reveal that in the ERM accumulate more and more extracellular matrix components, resulting in the macular reorganization. In third group membranes, we um, representative for rough extracellular matrix component combinations, uh, four and six collagens, uh, little activated helicytes and alpha SM actin positive cells. Uh, this membrane had strong adhesion to ALM and were removed also in unique block during vitrectomy. Uh, we didn't observe any Müller cells or astrocytes uh, in uh, this type uh, of membranes. In the current study, we showed that progression of ARM can be considered as a proliferative fibrotic process with collagen deposition and further um, membrane contraction. Uh, Increased expression of the transforming growth factors induces the differentiation of different cells into myofibroblasts, um, granting ARM their contractive properties. Uh, in the ARM, uh, um, they represent a complex network containing many types of collagens. These membranes have a strong adhesion to the ALM that leads to difficulties during membrane peeling, uh, extra tension on retina, retinal nerve fibers damage. An improvement of postoperative best corrected visual acuity as well as a statistically significant central foveal sickness reduction was observed in all groups, maximum after one year of observation. Postoperative best corrected visual acuity was significantly better uh, in patients with group um, uh, preoperative, uh, with high visual acuity preoperative. Uh, in comparison between three groups, it was found that there, there was a significant uh, improvement on um, uh, visual acuity and uh, central foveal sickness uh, in first group. Uh, those pa these patients have very little macular damage uh, during surgery, resulting in good recovery of the macular function. The postoperative ASOS uh, alterations and macular edema were sig significantly higher uh, in second and third groups. On this basis, uh, it could be concluded that the membrane thickening and contraction due to cellular transformation leads to distortion in uh, the external and internal retinal layers, resulting in non-reversible anatomical changes. Uh, which uh, conventional removal of the ARM and the LM on the late stages may cause additional surgical trauma. Uh, that is why an early interve intervention prior to the induction uh, of uh, permanent damage seems more rational uh, for better visual out outcomes. And connecting to the name of uh, this uh, session, uh, the main mistake, uh, I suppose, is um, waiting for visual acuity loss. So early intervention gives uh, better results. Thank you very much.